go ahead. Hi, we're here at Banner Ironwood, and this is Sherry. She's been doing ultrasound for seven years now, and she's going to explain a little bit to us about how ultrasound works, and then we're going to see a normal abdomen ultrasound done. Okay, the main purpose of ultrasound is it's non ionizing radiation, so it's very safe. You can use it on pregnant women, children, you can use it as many times as you need to. There's not a lot of biological um, harmful effects to it. Um, mainly how it works is it sends sound waves that are above the range of human hearing into the body and waits for them to come back. It listens for an echo. Depending on how far away the organ and the structure that you're looking at is what's going to appear like on the screen. That's the pretty basic way it works. Um, abdomen ultrasounds are normally done. The main purpose of them is abdomen pain. Um, you can have increased um, liver enzymes. People are nauseous. They're vomiting a lot. Um, increased renal labs. Um, issues like that. So, we put a little bit of gel on her skin. The gel gets all of the air off the tissues. Air and ultrasound do not like each other. It's going to be warm. So the first thing that we normally look for in an abdomen ultrasound are the great vessels. So you have your aorta and your IEC. I'm going to scan around for a minute to get, where, get my orientation. So the aorta is the largest artery. It goes down the middle of the belly from the heart, and it has a pulse. You can see it moving on its own. It's right here. All fluid appears black on ultrasound. Since the vessels are full of blood, they're going to appear very black. You can follow the aorta all the way down. Let me know if I'm pressing too hard on your belly. I don't want to hurt you. So this is part of your distal aorta. This will then bifurcate into your iliacs, right and left iliacs, right here. So you have one here and one here. The other big vessel in the abdomen is your IVC. It's one of the biggest veins. It brings all the blood back up towards the heart. I can do a better picture. There we go. This one is dependent on pond respirations. So it's moving, but it's because the patient is breathing. So if she takes a deep breath in, it'll collapse on its own. You can breathe out. Next from there is, I normally look for the pancreas. A patient that has um, possible pancreatitis, they may order an ultrasound, which is when they're having mid-abdominal pain. We have the pancreas here. It's um, pretty bright looking on the screen. We call it echogenic, so it's just going to be brighter than the surrounding structures. So this is the head of the pancreas. This is the body. And then this is the tail down through here. If you see this bubbling stuff right here, this is part of her stomach. So she has food in her stomach. Yeah. And from there we go to the liver, which is one of the larger organs in the abdomen. So we'll look at the liver a lot for increased liver enzymes, your ALT, your ASTs, your alphas, all of those will be elevated. So what we look for is the liver should be pretty close in density wise to the kidney, which is right here. So we get a side by side picture. They should look pretty similar. So this is the right kidney, this is her liver. Take a breath in for me. It's part of the diaphragm here. You can breathe. So we get all the way to the dome of the liver. We have the patient take a really deep breath in. And it gets all the way to the edge of the liver. And breathe. In this picture of the liver, this is the IVC. And you have your hepatic veins, the big veins that go into the liver. Coming out. 
this is a right one. This is your left. This is the main hepatic vein. They can get blood clots in those veins just like they get blood clots anywhere else in the body. And then the biggest culprit of pain in the belly would be the gallbladder. It's also a fluid filled structure. It's filled with bile. So it's going to be this black area here. If they happen to have stones, you're going to see bright white shadow um, structures within the gallbladder itself. If they have sludge, which is like thick bile, it's going to look more gray, like this color here, but within the gallbladder itself. So this is the, one of the really common reasons we do abdomen ultrasounds is for pain and possible gallbladder stones. But this is a normal appearing gallbladder. There's nothing in it. Just nice and black all inside. And then the other part of the biliary trees is your common bile duct and common hepatic ducts. And when they're normal, they're rather small. So they're a little harder to find. This is going to be part of the end of the common bile duct and the start of the common hepatic duct because it's going into the liver. So it's just this very small black line right here. Can't get it coming out of the middle. And here it is right here, coming off the pancreas, and it's going to go into the liver. You can also get stones within the bile ducts. And then the bile ducts will be looking really big, kind of like the IVC, but you'll see a stone in the middle of it. Two other structures we look for in the belly are the kidneys, right and left kidney. So the right kidney is going to sit below the liver. It's kind of kidney bean shaped like the kidney beans you eat. This is the kidney here. When you put um, the color on, the color just shows where all the blood vessels are within the kidney. You can see there's a lot of blood vessels. You'll have um, veins in, two um, main arteries and veins that go in a main uh, renal vein and main renal artery that come off the aorta and the IVC into the middle of the kidney. People can get kidney stones. Um, most commonly, they order a CAT scan for kidney stones, but if the patient's pregnant or the patient's allergic to the um, CT contrast, they'll order an ultrasound. On the left side of the belly, have another kidney and your spleen. Roll up towards me just a little bit. Kind of scan it back. Here's the left kidney. so the kidney looks bigger. And then right superior to that, you'll have the spleen. Some people are missing their spleens. You can live without them. They're very vascular, so if in car accidents and they get hit and they get ruptured, they usually will take the spleen out. And it's right here. Kind of has the same um, density and texture as the liver, it's just smaller. And 
they want to know anything else? What are some of the most common mistakes that PAs like us would make in ordering an abdominal ultrasound? Just ordering the wrong kind of exam. Um, depending on where the patient's pain is or what you're looking for, there might be another modality in radiology that's better. Mm -hmm. Like I said, with kidney stones, um, we're not the best for kidney stones. CT is better. But there's a contraindication in having a CT, like they're pregnant, is the biggest reason. When they're allergic to the CT contrast, because they're allergic to iodine, then they can order an ultrasound. We may not be able to find the kidney stone if they're small, but we can still look because we don't have any radiation. All right, thank you. Thank, thank you. you.